I knew she was working on the Chrome papers, but uh, Ha, ha. You're going to jump. 
come back and go ha ha, or more likely bloody hell. <laughs> Although personally, I think Murray is up the pole on that one. You know, in France, a ha ha is used to denote a strikingly ugly woman, which is a much better bet than something that's going to keep the cows off the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Peacock, what can I do for you? Well, you can start by calling me Murray, which is my name. Thank you. Oh, the book, the book is a revelation. To see Caroline Lamb through your eyes is really like seeing her for the first time. I'm ashamed to say I've never read her fiction before, and how right you are, it's extraordinary stuff. Early 19 is as much my period as anything. Oh, you teach. But yes, and right, like we all, but like you. Although I've never written anything that's so like Caroline. No, I don't teach. Oh, no, all the more credit to you. To rehabilitate a forgotten English author. That's the main reason for becoming an English dog. Not to teach. Good God, no, that the brat's not enough for themselves. <laughs> anyway, many congratulations. I'm sure someone will be bringing out Caroline Lamb's birth for now. Yes, I expect so. But how wonderful. Bravo. Simply as a document shedding reflected light on the character of Lord Byron, it's bound to be. Bernard, uh, you didn't say Bernard, didn't you? I did, yes. I'm going to turn on my shoes again. Ah. You're, you're not going out here, are you? No, I'm going to kick you in the balls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, point taken. Ezra Chater. Ezra Chater. Born Twickenham, Middlesex, 1738. Author of two verse narratives, The Maid of Turkey, 1808, and The Couch of Eros, 1809. Nothing more after 1809 disappears from you. I see, and? There's a simply part of connection.
daughter, there was a son at eight. Set Miss lived in the house. The pay book specifies allowances for wine and candles, so not quite a guest, but rather more than a student. His letter of self-recommendation is preserved on the papers. I'll take it out for you. As far as I can remember, he studied mathematics and natural philosophy at Cambridge. A scientist, therefore, as much as anything. I'm impressed. Okay. And Chato? Nothing. Oh. Nothing at all? I'm afraid not. What about the library? The catalogue was done in the 1880s. I've been through the lots. Books or catalogue? Catalogue. Oh, I'm sorry. What about the letters? No mention? I'm afraid not. I've been very thorough in your period because, of course, it's my period too. Is it? Actually, I'm not sure what it is, your... The Sidney Hurt. Ah, who's he? He's my pay for the nervous breakdown of the romantic imagination, including landscape and literature 1750 to 1834. What about the lady in the door? I hope it's all right. Of course. What do you mean, of course? Nothing. Yes, you do. No, no. Only Coleridge died in 1834. So he did. It was a stroke of luck. Thank you, Bernard. Look. Thank you. There he is. The only known and likeness of the Sydney Hermit. Very Drawn in by a later hand, of course. The Hermit did not yet exist. Oh, the God. 
Park and says, oh, beautifully. There's an engraving of Sidney Park in 1730 that makes you want to weep. Paradise in the age of reason. By 1760, it had all gone. Topiary pools and terraces, fountains, and our new of lives. How sublime geometry was found under my capability now. The grass one from the doorstep to the horizon, and the best box ending down the show was dug up for the ha ha. So the fools could pretend they were living in God's countryside. Oh, and then Richard Lips came in to bring God up to date. By the time he finished it, it looked like this. The decline from thinking to feeling, you see. That's awfully good. No, no, I understand now. Thank you. Well, personally, I like the heart. Do you like it? I don't like sentimentality. Oh, no, no, I can see that. Are you sure? You seem awfully sentimental about theology. But the Hermit is very, very good. The genius of the place. That's my title. Of course. Of course. Of course. Who was the only one who was in? I don't know. Ah. Uh, me, yet. Uh, absolutely. Uh, what did they do with all the papers? The peacock said. Made a bonfire. Oh, uh, well. Still got Lady Croom's gallery books to go through. A couple of some journals. A bit of both. They're gappy, but they spent a the year in it. Did you come across Byron before? As a matter of interest. The first edition of Cloud Herald in the library and English files, I think. Inscribed? No. And it doesn't come up in the letters at all. And why should he? The crews don't come up in years. Oh, that's true, of course. But Mewstead isn't so very far away. Well, would you mind telling me if I talked about it? Only in the papers you've done it, of course. Are you looking into Byron or Shazer? Sorry. <laughs> Underline. All of them, now look at me, not all of them, all of them 